Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Sub Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week, I thought it would be fun to do a project with my maker. I have not used my Cricut Maker in a while on a project. And the other day, I was having lots of fun just going through some of the projects that Cricut puts out there in Design Space. So I hope you stay tuned for this week's project. But hey, before we get there, I really want to thank you for stopping by my channel. I appreciate it every time you guys check out some of my videos. And hey, if you're new to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button down below and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. I try to do it every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So this week I had fun making these little pulls for bags are these bows just so cute so I've got one on my little bag here that I use as my wallet and then also I did them for keychains so this is on my keychain so I can't wait to show you how I took a project that um, Cricut already had out there in design space and I switched it up just a little bit um, when I made it and I'm gonna share that with you today. So I'm gonna join you in Design Space. We're gonna start out there today, and then we'll hop over to my maker, and we'll be cutting these out of some faux leather. Can't wait to show you. Stay tuned. Crafters, so let's start this project in design space. And I want to show you guys something. I don't know if you guys have ever had the opportunity just to explore inside of the projects. And of course, you've got your own projects you can take a look at. But if you go down here and you just put in, so like I'm going to look at accessories. Look at all this fun stuff you can make with your Cricut. And there is just so much out here. So the other day I was having fun looking and I decided that I wanted to create some bows. And so I thought I'd take a look and see what's already out there. What has um, been put together for us? Now I do have the all access. And so anytime you see an A, you know that project is free to use if you are a subscriber. And so I started out with this project right here pebbled leather bows and I tweaked it a little bit and I created um, a layout all for my own but this is what I started with so I really encourage you guys to take a look at all of the great little um, ready to go projects that are out there for you so look at all the different categories that you can choose from so I'm going to go ahead and just go to my projects and I've already saved out my keychain bow project so we're going to go in and i'm just going to hit customize just so i can see or so i can show to you guys exactly what i've got so i actually have two different style bows that i'm going to show you here um, this this um, piece and these two pieces are going to make one bow and this piece and these two pieces are going to make another bow so I've got it all laid out and I did tweak it a little bit. And so you can definitely look at my inspiration project or you can use this project that I will give you guys a link to. So what we need to do is we are just going to hit make it and we are going to see how it's laid out. Now I'm using some scrap material for my um, project, scrap faux leather. And so if you guys ever want to move around a mat, to get the most use out of a mat, you definitely can do that. And it works out really nice. Now, if you see that red line, it knew that it was outside of the areas that it should be. Now, let's say that I wanted to do two bows, but I wanted to do them different colors. So I could also take this one and I could move this one down here knowing right on my mat where my faux leather needs to go. And then we could have two different um, faux leather colors for our design. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and click um, to continue. Now I am having a little bit of trouble with Design Space connecting to my maker 
on my computer and so I am going to jump over to my phone and do it on the app but what I will be doing is click continue and then I'm going to pick faux leather and I'll give you a screenshot of it faux leather for my um, material and I am going to change the default to more so I will do some screenshots on you for that and I'll meet you guys over at my maker and we'll put this on the mat and get these bows cutting. So I've got my mat all loaded and I am using my strong grip mat and I've got this cute black um, daisy on the front or excuse me on the top and then the pink one down below. So remember when I laid out my design I had one going um, all the way down and then the other one starting at six inches okay so i'm going to bring my maker up here so you guys can see it and i want to remind you that whenever you're dealing with faux leather you always want to move your little star wheels off to the side okay another thing you can do now this one feels like it's secured on really well for me today but you could also masking use masking tape to go around to keep it on but we're gonna see if we can get this one to go just fine without the masking tape. So I've loaded. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for my Cricut to do the flash, which is doing right now. And we're gonna let Cricut do its magic. Okay, so we're ready to go and I can see you guys that I'm gonna have to recut part of mine because I misjudged where I lined this up okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take these off the mat and then we're going to I'm gonna put it back in and cut this one piece that um, definitely did not start at the sixth like I thought it was going to so we'll correct that and then I will meet you um, at the work table here and we'll put these cute little keychains together Okay, so I've removed these from the mat and I did recut this one piece that didn't cut quite right. So we've got three pieces for each one of our cute little bows. And then I've picked up two different types of clasp. These are lobster clasp. And so it's got the D ring on it already. And then this is just so you can add on your keychain. Or this kind I picked up and I thought these would be really cute for pulls on bags. So let's go ahead and put these together. I do have my glue gun all heated up and I am using my Sherbond um, cordless, which I just absolutely love to do. So let's start with our black one first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna flip it over. And what I like to do is just put a little bit of glue right there in the middle and then carefully, you're gonna fold over your center pieces. And you're going to add in that second piece of glue and you're gonna flip that right over. So right now our bow is upside down, okay? And then you're gonna take, there's two pieces to this and this is where I customize this a little bit. There's one piece that's got a skinnier in between and one a little bit wider. So we wanna start with the skinny one and we are gonna put a little bit of glue right there in the middle again. Okay, and we're gonna put this one face down. Okay, just like that. Okay, so right now this is how cute our bow looks. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is I am gonna do this one for my pull on a bag. So I'm gonna slide in that part of my clasp. So it's right under there. I'm gonna do another little bit of glue. Your glue gun is your friend here. And I'm gonna fold that over, okay? And then we're gonna fold this other one on top of it. Okay, so right now, this is what your cute little bow looks like, okay? What I'm gonna do, I gotta add a little bit more glue there, that one came undone on me. And then all I did is, one of the ways I customized this just a little bit 
is I wanted it to have a finished look on the back also. So that's why I have this other piece of the bow. And I am just going to add a little bit of glue there on each side, flip that over, and then just put it right on top. Okay, and there we have that cute bow all ready to go to use as a pull. So that's one version. The other version works basically the same way. We're gonna flip this one over. This one gives you a little bit wider of a bow. Okay, so we're gonna put that glue in the middle. And then we're gonna bring these sides in to the center. And you're gonna do the same type of a deal like we did on the other one. We are going to add a little bit more glue in there. And then we're going to put this one upside down on it. So there, that's what that one looks like so far. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is same thing. I'm gonna slide in my lobster clasp so I can wrap that in, okay. And then I'm gonna tighten that up. Add some glue in there. I'm gonna bring one in. I like to get my lobster class kind of centered there. And then I'm gonna bring the second one up. Okay, so we've got that in place. Then we're just gonna cover the back just like we did on the first one. And that's how cute and easy these go together. Sometimes you gotta hold the glue a little bit longer, but, but putting this over the top of it's gonna grab it too. So there we have that cute little bow, just like that. Now this one, since there's such a large center to it, I think it would be really cute to add something else in there. Now, as always, everything is always optional how you guys want to do it, but I just think it's so cute because there's so much space there, and I just happen to have these little hearts on hand. So I'm just going to add a little heart right in the middle there. And how cute did that turn out? So I'll give you a close-up view of all these cute little... You can either use them as a keychain or you can use them as a pull on your bags. I'll give you a close-up view. Thanks for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. And here's a close-up view of those cute bow keychain holders or bag pulls that we put together today. I just had so much fun with this project and it was so much fun just exploring Cricut Design Space to see what projects are out there. So if you like this tutorial, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you're looking for other DIY type projects, don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com where I have lots of other fun projects. Have a great day.